Good morning, Evelyn. Good morning. Hi, Chloe. Hi. Are you helping? Yeah. Well, this morning is Saturday morning, and we thought we'd share a little bit about our daily routine, what we do on Saturdays. So this morning we got up, and I milked the goat, and Wyatt went out with me in his pajamas and helped milk the goat. Then I made some coffee over here, and then Priscilla and the children, most of them helped make breakfast. What did you have for breakfast? Uh, we had some healthy oatmeal pancakes and some sausage and eggs. And here are some of the leftover pancakes. <laughs> They're really good. And we have real maple syrup, which is really a treat, but it is so nice to have real maple syrup uh, when we can have it. And so right now we're just clearing off the table, all the dirty dishes here. But it's a beautiful day and we're going to um, go outside and do a few things outside today. Uh-oh, someone found my coffee. <laughs> okay, I've got to show you this. We're really excited because we're, we're working on our barn again. We kind of were gone this winter a lot of the time. I, I didn't get a lot done, but look at this. Priscilla kind of do a quick, did a quick drawing yesterday. This is how the front of our barn is going to look. Isn't that really cool? We're so excited. Uh, we're getting there. I'll show you a clip later of how it's starting to come together. It doesn't look quite this nice yet, but it will soon. And right here, um, Avalon and Wyatt made something for dad and mom. That's really special. It says, I, I love you, mom and dad. Uh-oh, I caught her again. And yesterday, Chloe came to me and said, Daddy, I want to go on a date with you. I thought that was really special. There's Wyatt playing with our Australian Labradoodle. Um, that's Autumn. Hi, Autumn. Come, Autumn. Autumn, sit. Good girl. She's a house puppy. She just had a bath last night. Oh, trying to get me. So, we are done with all the breakfast dishes, and it looks a lot nicer. And now we are doing a whole bunch of laundry. You love doing laundry, don't you? Mm. Ethan? I'm only thinking I should stop <laughs> Anyways, we do, for Saturdays, we catch up from things that we didn't have the time to do in the week, and we also try to incorporate uh, some fun. We don't work all day. Okay, Justin, what are you doing here? I'm fixing our doorknob. Oh, what happened? Um, <coughs> it fell off. Uh-oh. Okay, so what are, how are you going to fix it? Like that, and then put... What is that tool you got there? Allen wrench. Okay. Can you put it on and tighten up the Allen wrench? Okay. It's pretty good. Good job fixing that. Thanks for taking care of it for me. Okay, it's haircut time. The boys are getting haircuts today. Mom's trying out her new clippers that she just got off of Amazon. Priscilla is a haircut guru. <laughs> Not really. She loves <laughs> to do hair, mostly the ladies' hair. Autumn. But she gives the boys haircuts. Uh oh, Autumn, get away from that hair. We have to put a locker up. That's not gonna work. But um, it would be easier to take him into town, but it's say uh, a little more money doing that. And if whenever they if they grow up and they don't like my haircuts, they can go and pay for their own haircuts. There you go. They get mom's haircuts until they want to pay for their own. Yeah, you can look up. Which mom gives just as good haircuts as anybody, I would say. Uh. Well, here are my three boys that all got a haircut. Wyatt. Hi. Do you like to sit down and have your haircut? No. <laughs> he does really well though. Ethan and Justin. They all got their haircuts and took a shower. And now I think we're pretty much done with our work. Actually, there's, a, I think, a couple things Joe wants to do in the garden. And then, after that, we'll see. Chloe and Wyatt came to help Dad. We're going to load up a green machine down here by our log yard, by our mill, by Meadowlark Log Homes. 
and we're gonna take it up so we can use it on our barn next week. I'm gonna take this green machine up so we can pressure wash the barn and stain it. Well, we made it up here. There's Chloe trying to close the door. Good job, Chloe. Got the machine up here, now we gotta unload it. It's a beautiful day out. While well, I was bringing this excavator behind me up towards my place, up through the back way here, and started sputtering. I think I'm running out of fuel, so now I gotta walk the quarter mile up to my house, see if I got some diesel fuel or go get some diesel fuel. But hey, it's a nice day. Shouldn't complain too much. The mountains are pretty. And uh, it's Saturday. And that's just the way things go. The fuel gauge apparently says something weird about diagnostics on it. I don't know what's going on. So it didn't tell me how much fuel was in there. I thought I could get it to my place and then fill it up. But now I'll have to go find a diesel can and figure it out. Well, a change of plans. Oh my. So we were busy at our day, fixated in, in uh, Everything we wanted to get done, we wanted to get the grapes pruned today. And Priscilla was going to take the three oldest children to town to do a little bit of shopping for their their secret pal in school. And then all of a sudden I remembered that we completely forgot today, this afternoon, there was a memorial for our neighbor mm -hmm. about an hour's drive from here. So we quickly got everybody ready. <laughs> and now we're driving down to the memorial so there goes the saturday but you know what it's important to yeah um remember those that uh gave so he was our neighbor he was a good man and um we want to honor that so we're all gonna go down do the drive and attend the memorial so we like to do things as a family if we can so we decided to take all the children along rather than have them stay at home and twiddle their thumbs yeah, they were a little disappointed, but they had lots of grace. <laughs> okay, so we decided to, um, after the memorial, we decided to come on into Cattle Spell, which is about another 30 minutes further. So we're about 90 miles from home right now. And while we're here, uh, my brother's wife, my sister-in-law, is in the hospital here. She had a major surgery yesterday, and so we decided to swing by and grab some flowers. Whatever you got there, love. They're Ooh, called. It's kind of hard to see here. Exotic angel plants. So we're gonna go and and uh, visit her here in the hospital. Then we're gonna go out to eat, and maybe we'll. We thought about even watching a movie. <laughs> so <laughs> our day's turning out quite different, but that's okay. Well, we're back home, and it's. Uh little after 10 and all the kiddos were tired but we had a fun day it was mm -hmm. twists and turns <laughs> yeah, in this day sure. but um, we ended up going to the movies and the children really loved it, it was a 3d yeah we've have we ever done that before maybe once ever with the whole family yeah, yeah. so they really had fun so we don't go to movies very often first of all it's well I guess there's a movie theater in Libby but uh, we don't get to Kalispell too much. It's definitely not 3D in Libby. Yeah. So, and Kalispell again is it's like an hour and a half drive at least. Yeah, so. yeah. We grabbed a bite to eat and yeah, just had a good time. Drove home. I'm tired. <laughs> Kids are tucked in bed and now. It was a go good crash. Saturday. Yep. Yeah. Twists and turns for sure, but yeah. that's the way life goes. Yeah. <laughs>